Good morning, Ellie. Good morning, Vin. I hope you're both feeling better. I found a cute story for you. It's called A Friend for Bo. Let's see what it's about. There's Bo sitting, fishing, sitting on a rock, fishing. It was a perfect day for playing, except for one thing. Bo had no one to play with, so he set out to find a friend. He looks kind of sad. It's always nice to have friends to play with. See, the squirrels have each other to play with, and there's two birds. They're playing, and you and Bud play together. What's this? Bo asked. <gasps> he found an egg. Hello? Hello? <laughs> you seem rather shy. That's okay. I like shy. Bo named his new friend Raleigh. He's got a new friend. It's an egg. Bo took Raleigh home. Let's play dress up, suggested Bo. You and Bud like to play dress up, I know. Have you played with your new costumes? If you do, I want to see pictures of them. We can play dress up when I come and visit. But Raleigh didn't reply. Raleigh's kind of quiet. Or maybe you'd like to read a story. But Raleigh couldn't see the pictures, so Bo helped him out. <laughs> he put a face on him. Now Raleigh smiled. He's got little eyes and a nose and a big smile. And I know you, you two like books, too. We'll read stories when I'm there visiting. Bo thought Raleigh... Raleigh would like a picnic. So he packs a basket to go on a picnic. Along the way, Bo saw three butterflies. Look, Bo said to Raleigh, butterflies. One, two, three. But Raleigh didn't look. Raleigh's got a smiley face. But he's not really paying much attention. Surprise, said Bo. We're going sailing. But Raleigh didn't say anything. He's kind of quiet. Here, have a cookie, Bo said. Oh, they got good stuff in there to eat. They got bread, cookies. But Raleigh didn't take one. And when the little boat rocked, Raleigh dove right into the picnic basket. Oh, he's rolling along. Oh, no, you smashed the cookies. Bo was so sad, but Raleigh just smiled. I think we should go home now, Bo said, but Raleigh didn't want to leave. He's sitting in the boat. So Bo had to help him out of the boat. Well, I hope you had a good time today, said Bo. When they got home, Bo was ready to call it a day. So was Raleigh. Oh, Raleigh's in bed. Won't you please make room for me, asked Bo. But Raleigh didn't budge. Bo is tired and he wants to lay down, but there's no room. Poor Bo curled up on the rug and fell fast asleep. Until... Until what? Oh, Raleigh, what's the matter? Bo asked. Then he heard a loud... Oh, something's happening with the egg. Something's happening with Raleigh. 
wonder what it is. Crack. <gasps> and then a peep, peep. <gasps> Why, it's a duckling. Oh, it was a duck egg. And there was a baby duck inside. That's exciting. What a lovely surprise. Peep, peep. Bo knew exactly what to do with a little duckling. How cute. He puts him on a little pillow. He brings him toys and crafts. He's going to have fun with his new friend. Play. That's right. When you have a friend, you want to play. They made pictures. They painted. They had all kinds of fun. And the little duckling loved to play. He's doing all kinds of things now with Bo. That's cute. Now Bo has two friends. But Raleigh still doesn't talk much. <laughs> Uh, he put the egg shell back together. It's still got its face. And he doesn't say much. But now, Bo and Raleigh and the baby duck, they can play together. Looks like they're having a tea party. Maybe we could have a tea party when I come there. I would like that. That was a cute story. Okay, that's the end of this one. Love you.